Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on rationalising the denominator of a fraction in the form a over root b plus root c. So we want to rationalise the denominator of 2 over root 7 plus root 3, giving our answer in the simplest form. Remember to rationalise the denominator is to get rid of any thirds, any square roots you have in the denominator. Now, do you remember the approach we use for this? If you have a sum or difference of two things in the denominator, then you multiply the top and the bottom of the fraction by the same as what you have here, but you negate the sign in the middle. So plus becomes minus, minus becomes plus. So we're going to have root 7 minus root 3 because the plus becomes minus. If that was minus, it becomes plus. And whatever we times the denominator by, we also have to times the numerator by the same thing. Now, because we're multiplying two whole expressions together, I'm just going to put it in brackets for clarity because then we can see when we multiply these denominators together, you need to expand these two brackets. I'm going to do the same here, just put a bracket around it. So now we just need to simplify by expanding. We're going to do the 2 multiplied by the root 7 minus root 3. Because we've got a single bracket expansion here, we just do the thing in the front of the bracket multiplied by each of the things inside the bracket. So we have 2 times root 7, which is 2 root 7, and then 2 times minus root 3, which is minus 2 root 3. And in the denominator, if we do it the slow way first, we have to do each thing in the first bracket times each thing in the second. So we do the root 7 times the root 7, which is 7. Any third times by itself will just be that same number, but without the root. We've got root 7 times negative root 3. Well, firstly, it's positive times negative, so it'll be negative. And we're multiplying two thirds. Root 7 times root 3 will be root 21. You just multiply the 7 and the 3 together, but you keep that square root. Then we've got root 3 times root 7, which is plus root 21. And finally, we have root 3 times minus root 3. Well, positive times negative is negative. Root 3 times root 3 is just 3. And let's just simplify further. We've got 2 root 7 minus 2 root 3 over, well, the minus root 21 plus root 21. They just cancel, so they disappear. And then we've got 7 minus 3 which is 4. Now we can simplify this fraction further because can you see we could divide top and bottom of this fraction by 2 because everything has a factor of 2. Now if we divide this by 2, we've got to divide that and that by 2. 2 root 7 divided by 2, that just gets rid of the 2 on the front. So it's root 7. And then dividing that by 2, again just gets rid of the 2, you get minus root 3. And the 4 divided by 2 is 2. And that is the final answer. There was a way to avoid multiplying out these two brackets. Remember, if you have a difference of two squares, so a plus b times a minus b, that expands to give a squared minus b squared. And that's exactly what we got here. We got a plus b, a minus b, root 7 plus root 3, root 7 minus root 3. So we know that expands to a squared minus b squared. So it's that term squared minus that term squared. That squared is 7 minus that squared is 3. It's 7 minus 3, which is 4. So we could have saved some time there.